How are we doing guys? McCann here and welcome to another FIFA 21 video. Uh, it's currently 20 past 8, Tottenham Fulham is actually just on the telly at the moment. We're no long off stream, um, quite a good stream today, I was absolutely banging. If you do want to see me streaming guys, Facebook Gaming, a McCann 10, you'll catch all the content that I'm dropping on here um, on that stream, which is ideal. Hit, hit the like button. Uh, follow button's always appreciated and thanks very much for everybody who is tuning in at the moment, it's absolutely brilliant to see. But guys, the reason we are here is obviously new content, uh, Wednesday night so it means a new Silver Stars, new team of the week and there is a new player of the month, La Liga player of the month, we've already had a look at him and he actually looks no too bad to be honest with you, um, he's had a few cards this year. Um, and obviously every card he's been getting is becoming more and more usable so I'm looking forward to seeing his in-game stats um, and we will load that up and we will see exactly what is happening with him right now so I'm going to take you to FIFA guys and I'll just take you straight in um, to the objectives tab we dropped a video last night and we did actually miss the weekend league plus now the weekend league plus is something they did bring in last year and it's a case of if you win 10, 10 matches in the weekend league you get an extra uh, player pick pack for the red red rewards, which will be containing a player from tonight's team of the week, team of the week 16. So if you win 16 matches, you get another pick, and then obviously if you win 22 matches, you get another pick, one of five players. So if you win 10, you get a pick out of three. If you win 16, you get a pick out of four. And if you win 22, you get a pick out of five. So that is, an, if you are going to get, if you're get basically getting, if you're an elite level player, you're going to get an extra three player picks. Um, from this weekend league so this weekend league is going to be very 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 sweaty in my opinion it's going to be worse than usual so all the best mate guys I will obviously be trying my best to get to 23 but probably 17 is going to be where I'm going to get to I'll be happy with the extra two player picks and it is always a bonus so a very very good objective there Obviously the headliners are still there, the La Liga player which we started the day, um, I've only done one of the games. The icon swaps but were able to get me my icon today. If you have no seen what icon I packed today, my mid icon pack for my icon swaps, go to my Facebook page, amycan10 and you'll see the video. It's absolutely hilarious, um, I've watched it back so many times and it's just, it's that bad it's funny basically. So. Go and have a look at that, it's absolutely brilliant. I probably will upload it to YouTube as well, um, in due course. But, honestly, go and have a look at it, guys, it is absolutely hilarious. So, uh, we obviously have a new Silver Stars player, it's Andrich from um, Hertha Berlin, I think that is. Uh, no Hertha Berlin, um, I can't actually remember the team. Their second name is Berlin, though. Um, I can hear we look at that on Footbin, but that is the new Silver Stars. We obviously have a new team of the week as well. Um, it's no showing us here, so we can go in and we can go to squad battles and we can go to the current team of the week. Again, you know my opinion on team of the week, guys. Uh, it's it's just a case of, it's just so far behind meta. I mean, I love the concept of team of the week. I think it's absolutely banging the fact that live performances then get them live, obviously, uh, team of the week cards. But they're just so far behind meta. I mean, you look at this team, Navas, pretty decent to be fair. Danilo... He's just far too slow in my opinion. He's not going to get into any teams. Um, Hattie Gregor, he's obviously got a headliner's card, so that will be upgraded. Jose Gaia is probably usable as well. In fact, he is. He definitely is usable. Again, the shooting's a bit poor. Passing, dribbling, defending, physical is a bit poor to be fair, but he is a usable card. Uh, Belhanda, uh, no usable in my opinion. Pereiro's no usable. Hakimi will probably crop up in a few teams. Just due to that absolute rapid pace, to be honest with you. Um, Marco Royce, definitely usable. Always been a usable card. Always will be a usable card. Very, very nice card indeed. Um, obviously, Griezmann will be usable. And then we've obviously the pie. Um, I have done his player moments card. So I'd be interested to compare that against that and see exactly what the differences with that is. But other than that, guys, it's genuinely just the same rubbish that we usually get within, there's a Ryan Kent, you probably see him crop up as, as well actually, and those going to be as good as obviously his 84 card last year, but um, it's just the usual rubbish that crops up time and time again in Team of the Week. My personal view, if he red picks tomorrow morning, I would like Marco Royce um, or Griezmann, that is the only two players that would actually fit into my team, I would take a red goes at Jose Gaia as well, but I've got, as I said, the Pies player moments card, um, Pereiro doesn't really fit in, Hakimi doesn't fit in, Navas, I would take a red Navas, he would be a nice keeper, although I'm running Van der Sar icon, so he's not going to get a game, but still a nice red pick. 
But um, in terms of SPCs, guys, I did say that the player of the month for La Liga is um, officially active, so we'll go and have a look at him. And you might be surprised at who it is, but his card does look actually usable. Um, I did do a video, video on uh, these showdown SPCs as of last night. I've changed my mind on that video since then, and I'm actually going to do Scott McTominay. I think he has a better card than Milner, just due to the fact that his physicals are absolutely insane. You put a shadow on this guy, it does become a 90 centre back. So, a very, very nice card that I'm going to complete. I've done one out of the two segments, it's just two 83 teams that I need to put together to get him completed. Um, in terms of other, um, there obviously is the Inago Aspas La Liga SPC. He looks very, very nice indeed, very, very usable. Um, as I said, he has had a few upgrades. Um, I'm not, I think he might actually have a headliners. I think he might have a headliners, being serious, but we'll have a look at him and all. Uh, and Futbin, it'll let us look at his in-game stats. Again, other than that, we also still have the, the jump. We have the 86 plus pack, which is quite nice. We're actually just going to, in fact, we're going to open that right now. If it's, if it's probably will be an 84 rated squad, to be honest with you. Um, like the last time, I I know an 84 rated squad. I'm not too, too sure if I have the fodder to do this. I can have a wee look right now. Um, I know I have a, um, Ter Stegen and stuff lying about the club. What's the 385s? Some 84s. Um, what's the chem? 70 chem. Might be a bit pushing. Might be able to get that completed tomorrow on stream. So we will favourite that. And if you are wanting to see me open that pack, be sure to join us tomorrow morning for uh, the rewards stream. And then, as I said, we are going to start firing away at Guedes as well. Also, we'll get Scott McTominay done tomorrow. Still need to get Andy Delrot done as well, um, just to keep complete that. But we are going to hold up uh, Footman. We're going to have a look at the Silver Stars, and we're going to have a look at uh, Depay, compare that them to the two cards, and then we're going to have a look at Aspas as well, guys. So I will take you right there, right now. Let's go. So, guys, let me open uh, just Memphis Depay, just so that I remember to go through them, but... Um, as I said, new content, players database, um, go back to that actually, sorry, 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 um, we should have the Silver Stars, there he is there, Andrich from Union Berlin, sorry, I said the Berlin, but um, again, for, you need to remember this card as a Silver Stars, and that is the main point, yeah, I mean, as a CDM, way a shadow, he's going to be a nice 84 Silver Stars card, again, these cards are very, very easy to do. Um, it's three three wins, eight goals, six assists. Um, it's pretty simple. So, I, obviously, I'm going to recommend you do him. He's, he's dribbling, he's pacing, he's shooting. It's absolutely atrocious. Let's not forget, forget. Let's not beat him in the bush about that. Let's not forget it. He is an 86 centre back, but he is a silver star at the end of the day. And I, I like the silver stars this year. They are becoming a wee bit more sweaty in terms of the game mode and stuff. But as a as a decent enough card to put in your silver setup, he obviously links to the Mukta. Um, he link to the striker from Salzburg as well because he is German. So like, you'll get a few links with him as well, troops. But he, he, he is obviously a mediocre card. But for silver stars, I would advise you to get him. So um, in terms of Aspas, his SPC is coming 130, 134k. Do I think he's worth it? I'm not too sure. Um, I was wrong in saying he had a headliners. It was a season, it was a season progress card he had. So if you've if you've actually come, if you took him over the Romagnoli or the I can't actually remember who the other one was. It's not taking me in, but it was Romagnoli, Aspas, and there was another player as well, Sa Savi Keita from uh, Liverpool. It was, but uh, if you took the, him, then unlucky. But he's had two informs since then, and obviously he's got to sell a player of the month. Nice dynamic image here as well. Um, I would suggest a dead eye and playing him at cam. Obviously, that pace is a weird split with 83 and 91, but that shooting is absolutely insane. Suppose the only thing that lets this card down is the balance. I mean, if you put if you put an engine on him, he's still a nice cam. Even as a left winger, he's very, very nice indeed. Three star, four star, high, high work rates. He has the outside of the foot, finesse shot, leadership, set play specialist. It is a nice card for, I believe it is an 83 and an 84 rated team. 83 men in form and an 84 with a Spanish player. Again, it is relatively cheap. It obviously, fodder is quite high the now. So if you have any uh, fodder lying about, um, I'd advise you to get into him instead of paying for the fodder. As I said, it is very, very high the now. But again, we are hawk. He's a 92 striker with a hawk, which actually looks very, very nice for him, to be honest with you. 
Um, it's just the balance, to be honest. Even with a finisher, a finisher is very, very nice with a finisher as well. There's, there's a few game styles that shoot this guy, and in my opinion, he does. I'm going to complete him, just because he is a player in the month card, and I enjoy collecting player in the month cards. He's also Spanish, he'll get a lot of links. He's from La Liga, he'll get a lot of links. So, a very, very nice player in the month card, in my opinion. Um, is he going to be a meta striker? Probably not, no. But is he going to be good for objectives? Absolutely. That is my reasoning for completing him. So, multiple game styles that would work for him, so... Um, I'm going to be completing them, maybe even tomorrow, we, along with McTominay, we'll see how we get on with the stream tomorrow, but um, as I say, we'll see how we go. 218k, um, 200k, that's the pie is coming in with, and he's actually the same pace, this is his player moments card that I have, uh, so he has the same pace, he has one less shooting, he has two more passing, he has one less dribbling, physicals and defending are exactly the same. So very, very interesting boosts there. Um, in certain areas in terms of the passing. And dribbling's the same. This player moments card's a lot better, in my opinion. If you look at it, dribbling's basically one across the board, better composure. The composure on this player moments card is 89, whereas on the, and composure's a big part of this game, on the inform it's only 80. So a massive boost in composure for the player moments card. The pace is obviously the same. The shooting, the long shots are so much better on the player moments card as well. The only, the only thing that the, the, the inform has got more than the player moments card is the, is the passing, basically. Um, so, very, very interesting, uh, very, very interesting card. Um, but that is tonight's Team of the Week, guys. That is tonight's content. And I go ask pass, get them completed if you can. I would definitely recommend it. Also, the Silver Stars, get that completed if you can. It's three games. It's in a Silver Lounge. It's absolutely easy. They're good cards to have in your club. Um, so, I just want to say all the best with um, Red Picks tomorrow. I'm not expecting anything, anything amazing. I've not had anything good all year, so I'm obviously not expecting that. And don't forget to go and watch my icon video on my Facebook page, guys. I will upload it, upload it to, to YouTube as well. It will definitely give you a laugh. Um, but anyway, guys, that is the content for the, this evening. That is the, that is me finished with the video. If you are enjoying my content, if you don't mind, drop me a like. Hit the subscription button if, you've already, if you're not already subscribed. Doesn't cost a penny, and obviously hit the bell button as well. I'll let you know when I'm dropping new content. So, guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for being in my streams. Thanks for keeping me keeping me going. It's absolutely bang on. I appreciate everything. Honestly, I appreciate everything. But until next time, guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. See you after.